Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay. Let's wait for it. Okay, now uh, screen is visible to all. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay, we'll start with our class. So uh, from today, uh, uh, we completed with the first part of first disorders, respiratory disorders. All the four disorders are there in it and you eat management. Now we'll move towards next. These are cardiovascular disorders. Recording is on now. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So uh, cardiovascular disorders. First of all, we'll understand it. That what is cardiovascular disorders? So the word itself says that cardio. Cardio is something which is related to heart. Okay. And vascular. Vascular means the connection of the all the veins, arteries, all these together. Okay. So cardiovascular diseases, any problem in it is called disease. In short form, we also used to call it as CVDs. Hmm. A group of the medical condition that affects the heart and the blood vessels. The, the word vascular is for blood vessels. A group of the blood vessels, artery, blood vessels involves arteries, veins, capillaries, all. Okay. So at the problem at the level of arteries, veins, and capillaries or related to cardiac, cardio, but related to heart. So the problem at that condition is called as cardiovascular diseases. So now cvds nowadays um, it is nothing but uh, nowadays it's tell that it is a globally a uh, reason for the death also and can range from relatively mild condition also can be heart uh, like uh, can be life threatening or the person can get died so therefore we used to say in a heart heart attack due to heart attack the person dies like that so uh, our disease is hypertension for today but to un to go through for the, with the hypertension we have to understand what is exactly the blood pressure because hypertension is completely related with blood pressure so blood pressure what is blood pressure blood pressure is a measure of the force that blood exerts on the walls that the blood exerts on the walls of arteries as it flows through them okay so i will make you understand with the example like this is our artery okay the force blood is flowing in it okay the force with which the blood is like forcing to our these walls of these arteries these are walls of the arteries the force with which which the blood is exerting on this walls is called as exactly the pressure or we can say in the uh, normal words the pressure with which it is touching to the walls is called as blood pressure therefore it is written blood pressure is measures of the force the force that the blood is exerting on these walls of arteries or veins okay yes so it is typically expressed in two numbers we'll understand further that one by one systolic and diastolic okay i will tell you afterward these two numbers represents different phases of the cardiac cycle different two phases of the cardiac cycle it represents uh, provides important information about the health of your cardiovascular systems because these two numbers only this upper number is also called as upper number lower number which we used to call 80 sorry 120 by 80 like that upper number lower number these two number only de like decides whether your heart is healthy or not or some problem is there okay and therefore it is written like that in this 
further will go what is blood pressure to under, to make you understand each the normal it is told about the normal cycle of the heart each time okay heart beats for 60 to 70 times a minute okay in a minute heart beats 60 to 70 times it pumps out blood into the arteries of course it pumps out blood into the arteries and vein uh, veins also will uh, make you understand your blood pressure is at its highest when the heart beat pumping the blood okay when at the time of when heart beat that sound of lub dub you may be uh, like studied in anatomy and physiology na? that at the time of the pumping the heart pressure uh, heart or blood pressure is highest so when the heart is at rest between the beats when the exactly lub dub time that is highest level of blood pressure and in between of that time this range this range in between the blood pressure is lowest lowest one is dedicated by 80 the number given to it is 80 the highest is the top number is given 120 therefore the moderate or normal is 120 by 80 we'll see later also this is called as this upper one is called as systolic and lower one is called as diastolic okay Sometimes we get uh, like um, uh, we get confused that which one is diastolic, which one is systolic. For uh, that, I used to take use the trick like lower one and at the level of decreasing level. So for with diastolic decreasing level that is eighty, and the one which is highest level that is systolic. Okay, like that. Your blood pressure is always given as these two numbers with the above or the before okay like this it is only given now one by one we'll see what is systolic and what is diastolic so systolic blood pressure we used to also call as in short form sbp so higher number as i told you that with systolic it will be higher number with dystolic uh, diastolic with diastolic which will be lower number because decreasing okay you can learn like that so higher number of the blood pressure reading and represents the maximum pressure maximum okay this is maximum and diastolic will be minimum we'll show you next in next slide maximum pressure that exerts on the arterial wall when the heart contracts or beats i told you in this slide na, that the highest pressure is when when the heart is pumping this see the uh, this underlying when heart is pumping at that time it is highest pressure and when in between of the pumping that one time the heart pumps the next time the heart pumps in between the time is that is lowest pressure okay that will be your uh, bp we'll see next slide okay so the maximum pressure exerted maximum pressure exerted on the arterial wall when the heart contracts or beats while the time of beating, okay, when the heart is beating at that time, the pressure exerted on the arterial walls is called as the uh, systolic because it is upper one, na? upper one. So it is systolic. Understand with like you can learn very easily like that maximum pressure, the word maximum, and then systol, and then 120. Okay, maximum with 120. Hmm. So maximum pressure that the blood exerted on the walls of arteries at what time at the time of heartbeat okay is called as uh, this one uh, this systolic blood pressure in the blood in a blood pressure reading svp is a pressure measured when your heart hears the first sound this is said in according to what when we use that sphygmomanometer na at that time manually we used to uh, like uh, measure their bp so in and that is bp if you will uh, put uh, this uh, your this uh, sphygmomanometer with sphygmomanometer we used to uh, measure so at that time it's one first first sound of you hear while listening with the uh, stethoscope or when the pulse is palpated palpated means the beats beats is itself called as palp palpated while palpitation is a fast fast beating is called as palpitation okay so when you will hear the first sound while measuring with your this stethoscope or using sphygmomanometer you also put a stethoscope in your ears now to hear the sound and sphygmomanometer is the manual machine which shows the level of bp okay so when you use that in in your stethoscope when you hear the first sound okay first sound that is 
your uh, this systolic blood pressure okay and the, or upper upper number we can say so you understand this this is not exactly the disease we have to learn but for before that we i have to tell you this so understand this sbp then we'll move towards diastolic diastolic the word itself is decreasing or lower number okay so that is 80 here hmm? so diastolic blood pressure is the lower number in the blood pressure reading okay it represents the minimum i show you now that here it is maximum and here it is minimum the minimum pressure in the artery is when the heart is in between the beats okay at the time of the beat will be systolic and in between at the time of the beat will be systolic in between it will be diastolic okay diastolic so at that time the minimum uh, the, that will be the minimum pressure of the blood because it the beat is not happening so why this uh, heartbeat happens you studied in anatomy and physiology heartbeat love that sound that because of the ventricular contractions man. yes yes that's why it is written here ventricular contraction okay and here it is ventricular relaxation okay so when ventricular contraction happens a little more blood required at that time there is pressure is more high and here pressure is normal okay all of you understanding uh, except usha ma'am all other two and thought. yes ma'am okay it's ma'am it's clear thank yes. you okay now diastolic uh, blood pressure is the same measure when you can no longer hear the sound in that uh, same uh, sphygmomanometer we are using putting this stethoscope in your ears okay at that time when i will show you with diagram okay there are some levels in this that, na, that we use manually doctors also use that pump one okay so when you are hearing hearing that mercury goes down and you know, when we used to put uh, use that mercury goes down when it will uh, will hear at this level and uh, i think that at this level we are hearing first sound that will be your that will be your what sbp na systolic yes systolic, systolic that will be your systolic blood pressure because first sound you have heard with the beat and then uh, it will come down 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 again when the pulse disappears or you can say that no longer you are e able to hear any sound at that time that means that is your diastolic or lower one okay which normally should be 80 and this upper one should be normally 120 if it differs from these two it means the person is having problem okay understand this line also and now normal bp it is written that sbp and systolic blood pressure and diastolic blood pressure should be 120 and 80 okay uh, though uh, it is not like exact for females a little less one is uh, okay 75 also it is till 75 it is said that it's okay for females hmm. what does mmhg stand for man? mmhg is uh, like a unit of mercury na? unit of mercury that is millimeter of mercury because hd is uh, when we uh, take in chemistry that chart na uh, what we used to call periodic period uh, periodic, periodic table periodic table if you will see then uh, we represent it with hd mercury okay yes ma'am so mm is a millimeter of mercury this much 120 millimeter of mercury that because mercury is the one which is measuring everything like telling us that uh, this levels so it is this millimeter uh, mercury i will write in this light okay when i will share if it is a one, one one doubt which is very weird but but still i would like to ask yes. mercury fluctuates with the change in the temperature right ma'am temperature yes because uh, it uh, here we are not testing the temperature here uh, it is the pressure of the arteries right yes 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 but how is the mercury fluctuating with the pressure in the artery it's not a change in the temperature okay okay yes mercury is used so pressuring the height of the mercury as the pressure increases the mercury raises in sphygmomanometer yeah but it's not because uh, of any temperature changes right because we are pushing we are pumping it 
uh, we are pumping that whatever. Yes, yes, so that oil. Big no manometer, uh, manometer, the mercury level increases or decreases with that pressure that we apply on the pump. Yes, yes. But ma'am, like uh, I think so ki that is the reason uh, because uh, the uh, this blood uh, also used to travel with uh, this one, na, heat, uh, because it also shows like heat. So maybe it... Uh, why should it be mercury and not other metals? Or because mercury is, uh, mercury is uh, like uh, sensitive, more sensitive, more sensitive one. And uh, okay. temperature time also it is said that mercury is more sensitive one. That uh, if we'll touch to a little uh, variation in the temperature, it will go more up and down. It will show variation. Yeah. Mercury is much sensitive. Others are not that much. Okay. Yeah. So now exactly we are coming to our point hypertension to make you understand this all. I make that one. Okay. So you all also know about this. Uh, I will show you a little heart also. Huh? This is square heart for easy. You all know uh, the function, uh, everything and the procedure of the heart. But just to memorize you, I will just telling. I am just telling. Okay. This is a superior and inferior vena cava. Superior vena cava from where the blood is coming from superior. So, okay. D. Where is space? Okay. So, deoxygenated blood is coming from superior and inferior vena cava. What are superior? Superior is means our upper extremities, our hands. The blood is coming from our hands, reason. And uh, inferior uh, vena cava means from the legs, okay? lower um, reason. The blood is coming. So, this deoxygenated blood is coming from superior and inferior vena cava entering into our, this one, right ventricle, right, uh, right atrium, okay? entering into our right atrium this is right side okay in the heart we used to say because we'll stand by this side then it will be right one okay entering into right atrium further with the tricuspid valve it will enter into right ventricle further it will go to where tell pulmonary valve lung yes so which which the the pulmonary valve which will go into the pulmonary artery uh, this will go through pulmonary artery you know? Yes. yes yes very good this is the only exception of the arteries and veins huh? pulmonary through pulmonary artery it will go to lungs this is heart no sorry make it lung okay go to lungs in the lungs there uh, there the oxygen deoxygenated blood will convert it to oxygenated blood in which part of the lungs i told you in which part Yes, very good. In alveoli, the oxygen, the exchange of gases have happened. I use the word, the exchange of gases happens in alveoli. So there, the deoxygenated blood will become oxygenated. Further from these lungs, the blood will circulate it to this one, your uh, which left atrium, okay? Left atrium further through bicuspid. So it will come through the pulmonary vein and then it will go into the left atrium. No, no, no. Pulmonary vein, uh, it will come. Uh, pulmon where is pulmonary vein? You tell me. From the lung, how does it come into the heart again? No? Uh, it travels to heart uh, through normal through normal veins. Okay. So, uh, sorry, oxygen. From the lung to the heart. Through normal arteries. The only work of pulmonary, uh, this artery, the only work of pulmonary artery is to travel the blood from right ventricle ventricle to lungs okay yeah what brings the fresh fresh blood from the lung to the heart normal normal arteries arteries are there in the body na different different arteries in which the blood is vessels different vessels arteries artery, are there. artery is one that uh, goes away from the heart na so yeah. when it comes to the heart it might it is pulmonary vein man. pulmonary vein brings fresh fresh blood from the lung to the heart uh, oh yes yes sorry sorry it, these are veins huh? Huh? yes yes sorry sorry deoxygenated blood is going now so uh, oxygenated blood is going that's why I'm... No, the the lung will oxygenate the blood and that yes. oxygenated blood which is coming from the lung to the heart will be carried by pulmonary vein. vein yeah is not pulmonary vein actually only... think, huh? i no. think what what do the others say no, I will tell you. I will tell you pulmonary vein where the pulmonary vein works. Okay, I will tell you. 
the first understand okay the blood will come here then further it will travel from here to down what is this what this block is called tell left ventricle left ventricle yes. left ventricle from the left ventricle now the blood will go to go to aorta aorta artery it will go to aorta yeah it will okay, go okay. to aorta and then gets uh, branched into arteries and then arterioles all body yes. this is pulmonary vein okay okay sorry sorry ha huh? i just get confused in oh, oh yeah this is aorta the this is this uh, what is aorta you tell aorta is the uh, artery yes, that uh, carries the oxygenated blood from the left ventricle yes. to all parts of the body all parts and all sides of the body yes so only exception for pulmonary artery and veins in the body is there okay so um, you all are right very good huh? just i get confused huh? so the blood is coming you understand now the blood is coming from here then going to uh, lungs and further to uh, um, again to the heart and further to the body so like that it is traveling now hyper in hypertension what is happening systemic artery uh, systemic artery systemic artery what is word systemic artery you know systemic means when it is traveling to the when the blood is going to all the systems theek okay? hai with which with your this left ventricle hmm? left ventricle is uh, taking blood to whole body na aorta nik left from where well, left ventricle only the yeah, blood is from the na? yeah left ventricle yes uh, yes the heart yes the, that aorta uh, then it is also called a systemic artery because it travels all the blood to system and a whole system so and the high uh, systemic arterial hypertension is characterized by persistently high blood pressure when the persistently or regularly the person is having high bp or high blood pressure it is called as uh, this uh, high blood pressure in the systemic arteries so hypertension commonly known as the high blood pressure in a medical condition in which the force of the blood against the walls that same thing force of the blood against because persistently high blood pressure means consistently the force by the the force by this blood is high on the walls of your arteries okay so it is it is significantly risk factor for the various it can also cause the various because for causing the different different heart disease the first main cause start it starts from the person is having high uh, high like high bp or hypertension further it can leads to many heart diseases including stroke and other also cad and all also okay so it is in the diagram it is tell that in the normal condition in normal condition this is the open and the big diameter uh, your artery is there pre hypertension hypertension a little narrowed down a little narrowed down uh, this uh, arteries are there and further in com complete hypertension the person is exactly diagnosed with hypertension you can see their arteries are more uh, this uh, more narrowed down why it is narrowed down this all this is cholesterol and all deposition lipid cholesterol deposition okay it is same as that of we seen in bronchi bronchus like that because again here with the uh, blood we are studying with blood there with the air okay we are talking about okay. air and breath so this factor for hypertension obesity obesity can lead to hypertension why in obesity of course the person will have high cholesterol high cholesterol will get deposited on the in further diseases of the this heart disease we also study cad cad is uh, coronary artery disease in that also the same thing uh, this deposition of the cholesterol will happen which is called as plaque i will tell you there only hmm. so in obesity cholesterol deposition will happen narrow down of the artery arterial walls which will of course you understand that if the space is small like very narrow space is there and one 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 is broad space is there so where the pressure of anything not only blood where of pressure of anything water blood or anything will be high because this is the formula na when area decreases the pressure increases so area is inversely proportional to pressure this is one of the formula na 
so when when the area will decrease if the area will decrease the pressure will definitely going to increase so here the area is decreasing because narrowing down of the arterial walls so pressure will increase therefore it is called high like high blood pressure if area is high like big area in normal as normal it has remains okay in big area the area is high so pressure will decrease normal pressure will be there okay you understand this thing this formula I told you yes ma'am yeah. okay now stress stress uh, you said only told you that stress uh, all mental problems relating to the this physical state stress is the cause for this and then air pollutants air pollutants also further leads to the deposition of uh, some particles and can narrow down smoking family history genetic problem genetic history could also be there the father or mother if have diabetes mellitus can also even it could happen that hypertension can leads to diabetes or some problems if it is get more severe and also inverse can happen that these problems can lead to hyperlipidemia what is hyperlipidemia the word itself tells hyper more lipid matlab like lipid tissues uh, adipose tissues or fat tissues hmm. when there is a more deposition of fat tissues it is called a hyperlipidemia okay this could also be the reason for that then symptoms normal uh, like uh, usually uh, if person is having normally in our day to day life is having hypertension not daily this uh, hypertension is hindering in their like life but uh, on the long term can uh, show the symptoms also okay so therefore generally it is asymptomatic asymptomatic means no symptoms are there still but uh, in long term can show the symptoms which have like headache breathlessness because of the narrowing down of the passages dizziness blur vision palpitation what is the palpitation the fast, i told you before also fast 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 uh, heart beat you know it happens at the time of running okay when we are running the fast 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 heart beat now we used to put hand on our chest and say that my heart beat has to fast and that and that is called as palpitation disturbed sleep depression these could be the symptoms okay then anxiety nervousness chest pain all these also same ha huh? dizziness just to give the picture look i put this heart failure sexual dysfunction stroke vision loss that is blurry vision further we'll take this is important classification further now based on the upper and the lower number okay changes in the upper and the lower number means diastolic and systolic pressure changes hmm. so stage 1 hypertension in this the top limit top limit what is called what is top range what is top range what is the name of top range or top number systolic systolic lower number 120 diastolic diastolic okay yes so uh, when the top number uh, instead of 120 it is going to instead of 120 it is going to 130 or 139 its range of this and the bottom one goes to 80 to 89 okay above than 80 it is called as stage 1 of hypertension okay just a little huh? not too severe in starting stage then stage 2 of hypertension top number goes above the 140 okay 140 or higher and the bottom number 90 that one uh, 90 or the higher this is stage 2 hypertension a little severe okay uh, now based on uh, their main causes this is okay sorry and uh, the main causes what are the main causes so primary primary is also called also called essential hypertension so in this there is we don't know the exact cause what exactly the cause of the problem okay so no organic cause is found in this and in the secondary hypertension it typically develop over a time and influenced by factors such as genetic factor age factor diet or lifestyle changes could cause this primary uh, primary or essential hypertension because we don't know exact cause any anything any cause could be there okay in secondary hypertension what is the medical causes like some problem like i show you before na diabetes mellitus is causing hypertension okay and uh, kidney disorders is causing hypertension um, anything like because in kidney disorder what happens the up and down of like fluid something and if fluid is more in the heart the heart so in blood the blood will become more uh, this liquid liquid liquidified and can pressure then also increases 
okay so it could be caused this secondary hypertension is caused due to some medical conditions okay like kidney disorder hormonal disorder medications etc okay now uh, further we'll go for on depending upon the severity okay mild hypertension slow you're going too fast you understand this one yeah just hold on here for a few seconds okay understand this slide ma'am uh, three main causes you have listed based on three main causes but uh, it is just primary and secondary is there a third thing i said no sorry this is not three <laughs> okay okay sorry ha huh? mm -hmm. okay. this is there only two hmm? primary and secondary this is not three hmm? there i have to write so then uh, this is understand na i will go a little so i come to my normal pace huh? yes understand sorry so based on the severity now we'll see mild hypertension mild hypertension is a no it is differs from 140 to 60 and 90 to this this is a similar to that uh, first uh, first uh, classification okay now moderate hypertension 160 to 80 and this one is a lower one is 100 to 120 from 80 it is going 100 to 120 okay Uh, upper one limit it is touching. Huh? Severe hypertension is uh, more than one eighty, and uh, lower one is hundred to one twenty. Again, this is uh, actually um, when the person is having hypertension. Hmm. So uh, this could be managed very easily with the yogic management. And um, because the third uh, range then for severe, for severe, severe this, I know uh, this will be. One twenty. This will be one twenty. One forty to one forty. By mistake, it happened. Okay. So severe hypertension is this. Okay. I'll change this in here. Problem. How hypertension affects the body? Nothing but um, of course the hypertension. If uh, more blood pressure will be there, the workload for the heart will increase. Here is fine. Ah, huh. workload to the heart will increase. Hmm. In this, uh, it is written like in the same way, like uh, volume coming into the uh, preload, volume coming into the ventricles, uh, and diastolic pressure increase in the high, like increase in the uh, pressure. So will leads to regurgitation of the cardiac walls. Like uh, your, um, I'll tell you one thing. Regurgitation, ma'am. That is regurgitation. Exactly means can you tell, ma'am? And in overload, this one I I I put this because of this line. Okay, resistance left ventricle must overcome the circulate and circulate uh, overcome to circulate the blood. But increase in hypertension and vasoconstriction. What is vasoconstriction? You all know. You studied in uh, that anatomy and physiology. Yes, ma'am. Yes, tell. It is the uh, narrowing down of the uh, arteries. Yes, narrowing down of the arteries or shrinking of the walls, tightening of the walls. It leads to the same. Uh, then it is called as vasoconstriction. Okay, vaso means vessels. Constriction of the vessels is called as vasoconstriction. When vasoconstriction is there, the overload of the heart will increase. I I can make you understand this by this one only. because uh, complications uh, many complications are not there not not like only these two many heart diseases could uh, 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 this uh, hypertension can leads to many other diseases but main i wrote uh, that is uh, coronary artery disease which will study later in our course only and left ventricular failure because left ventricular is the main reason to travel the uh, like blood from heart oxygenated blood from heart to whole body okay and many other diseases are there investigation we used to investigate how we used to investigate high this uh, bp ma'am uh, coronary artery, artery uh, disease and left ventricular failure yes other diseases are also there i am telling that uh, but main two i put here left ventricular failure means the failure of that left part left ventricle yeah other functions will uh, ch uh, changes right ma'am Okay. 
now uh, this uh, these are the investigation uh, like procedure this is not required for all you main is uh, this sphygmomanometer i told you ecg chest x-ray etc but uh, the main thing you have to remember this is not like a uh, what required that also complications not uh, main thing you have to remember is classification just to remember and uh, symptoms uh, in the main disease okay that is the uh, most important what is the normal bp unit this is, and above all these is all to make you understand this all is not required this is only to make you understand the further disease okay with this i am completed if any doubt you can ask otherwise i will ask after the uh, x-ray what was the third equipment ma'am bp monitor ECG. i'll show you ecg it is ec ec cardiogram you see that okay after that this is also one last slide lifestyle modification uh, but like i i'm we will hey, study wouldn't be, uh, taking us through the yogic management no i will not take this to many yogic manager i am just telling you this is i had wrote here also but uh, we will study in yogic management the whole cardiovascular system together but as it is there in this so i will uh, show you i put this slide for a while but i uh, like think that i will tell you that complete uh, yogic management will study the yogic management okay yes okay. here uh, weight loss like lifestyle modification is we should go for weight loss of course because what it will be related to everything okay what will be the symptoms we have to re release those symptoms so of course in uh, like uh, uh, prevention of the disease or uh, getting cure of the disease we have to get rid of all those symptoms uh, so late weight loss obesity because obesity is this uh, one of the uh, cause so it will uh, if we'll go for weight loss it will be get physical activity salt restriction why salt restriction because because i told you now if the uh, our our blood will become more liquid liquidify okay more uh, this uh, concentration decreases okay so what will happen so uh, you know all know salt is a uh, hydrophilic you all know salt, yes ma'am uh, okay salt is hydrophilic uh, hydrophilic so it attracts the water towards it if we'll take more and more salt it will attract water more and the water will become more liquid oh, sorry the blood will become more liquidified and the pressure will increase again okay this is the reason that's why alcohol consumption and dash diet dash diet is uh, i put something here okay i will not suggest this one meat and chicken all that but still uh, in dash diet it is involved okay so uh, dash diet is uh, focus on the vegetables fruits and the whole grains etc balance in the balanced manner okay instead of taking all these packet foods that uh, we should not eat a uh, normal sattvic food so or uh, like avoiding all them we uh, to take this in a better way in proper amount like it is said na, dairy products and nuts in two to three portions cereals in seven to eight portions fruits and vegetables four to five portions and uh, this one also <laughs> i will uh, make you avoid this it includes fat free or the low fat this uh, dash diet includes fat free and low fat dairy products uh, your fish poultry beans and nuts um, and the diet that limits the foods to the higher salt in this uh, diet that same uh that i told you na good sattvic healthy food the sattvic healthy food could also be very tasty okay we used to make at our home okay so uh, less salt the consumption and sodium consumption so it is the limit added sugars also removed so no salt no high salt no high sugars saturated fats fatty meats or full fat dairy products should be avoided proper diet with the with the diet which is involving all the green vegetables fruits whole grains and dairy products also in the appropriate amount is the diet which is called a dash diet some uh, in us uh, something it is uh, like what us company some told this about this dash diet okay no no speed after this huh? okay understand nothing in the dash diet normal diet we used to say but still it is named in the uh, 
this one. Try to read. Any doubts in this hypertension? I will ask. Uh, if you want to ask, ask. Otherwise, I will ask. From yesterday's also and today's also. Yes, Harium. If you can, voice is audible. Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> So any if no doubt I can ask us uh, questions. Yes, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Okay. So okay, who will tell what are uh, CVDs? What is CVD? Cardiovascular disease. Okay. What, uh, matlab, what uh, it means by word by word, I told you, na, breaking down the words, can you explain? Cardio is heart, vascular is blood vessels, diseases that are. Yes. That's okay. Yes. Heart or blood vessels. Any problem, okay, related to it. Okay, what is blood pressure? Raise your hands. Okay, Aarti, ma'am, you raise your hand. Yes, ma'am. The pressure on the blood vessels, arteries. Pressure on the arteries. What? Who? Kis? Kiska pressure? Like blood, blood pressure. pressure. The blood. Mummy pressure. Papa pressure. <laughs> Which pressure? The uh, flow of the blood. Achha. Okay. So you will say the force that the blood exerts on the walls. Walls. Okay. Walls of arteries or which else? Okay. How many types of uh, like uh, BP, like uh, numbers in range? Who will tell? How many types of blood pressure? Okay. Anita, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Um, there are two types systolic and dist diastolic. Okay. Systolic number is 120. Diastolic is 80. Okay. Uh, Sangeeta ma'am, tell me what is systolic exactly? Uh, the pressure when the ventricles contract, when the heart beats, the pressure exerted on the uh, walls of the arteries is called uh, the systolic. Okay. This one is maximum pressure or minimum pressure? Maximum pressure. Yes, very good. Okay. So, uh, in uh, okay, in this Gita ma'am, when we uh, Gita, ma are you there? Are you okay, Gita? Okay, Usha ma'am, tell me at what time uh, when we measure in uh, sphygmomanometer, uh, how we like uh, measure this systolic one, how we come to know this one is systolic because of the sound, ma'am. Okay, first sound. Yeah, the first sound indicates the systolic BP, which is the higher number in the BP reading. What is diastolic? Explain. Diastolic, should I answer, ma'am? Yes. Yeah, it's the lower number in the blood pressure reading, and it is the um, minimal pressure that is um, on, in the arteries when the heart um, is in between the beats. Yes, okay. Uh, now, who will tell that what is hypertension? No one else? Uh, Sangeeta, ma'am. Okay. So, hypertension is a condition where there is a persistent high blood pressure in systemic arteries. Yes, and someone will tell anything else? More add up to it, Usha ma'am. It's also commonly known as high BP and um, systemic arterial hypertension. It's when uh, there's persistent high BP, it's called as hypertension. Okay. 
and uh, if the based on the readings also looking at the readings if the normal blood pressure is less than 120 and 80 yes. if the readings are high then it's considered consistently high like always whenever the bp is checked if it's consistently high then the condition is hypertensive okay so now what are the risk factors for it two three someone can tell because this is learning is like stress smoking family history um diabetes mellitus and uh, air pollution and also the deposition of fat which is hyper hyper lipid um, lipidemia yeah hyper means high lipid means tissue that depose or fat tissues lipidemia okay so okay ma'am now mute now arti ma'am tell me what are the symptoms normal symptoms you can tell no i am telling that learn that whole i also hate this part a lot to learn risk and factors of all the disease together so symptoms headache. normal symptoms you can tell headache and something uh, uh, but the main I want to problem is the breathing. When we uh, breathing is high, yes, yes. All others are like common symptoms, but the main symptoms which we should learn for that exact problem is like I want like palpitation, huh? And then chest pain, of course. Palpitation is more uh, like most important, and breathlessness, blood vision. Palpitation is main. You can say, huh? or normal it is asymptomatic. At all, so I told you. Okay, now classification on the basis of like numbers of this upper and the lower number. Mama, it's oh, like okay. middle, middle, moderate, and severe. Okay. I'm correct, ma'am. Yeah. Middle is. Uh, Actually, uh, is, uh, I told you stage one and stage two, but it's similar. Okay, stage one, 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 and this mild, moderate is same. Okay, then okay. tell, tell, tell. Explain. Uh, middle, uh, middle one, uh, the well, uh, systolic and diastolic variation should be uh, systolic is 140 to 160 and diastolic is uh, 90 to 100. Uh, in moderate, 160 uh, and uh, the diastole is 100 to 120. Uh, severe, uh, greater than uh, 180 and uh, this uh, diastole is 120 to 140. Yes, very good. Okay, so based on uh, main causes, who will tell? Geeta, ma'am, you are driving. I'm to... Okay, Usha, ma'am. Ma'am, it's based on um, essentially primary and um, primary causes, which is the essential reason for hypertension. So basically, there's no organic cause because of which we uh, get into hypertension um that's the most common cause and its exact cause is not known yes. and uh, over a period of time it develops and um also by factors such as genetics age diet and lifestyle all these are the contributing factors and what is another one secondary hypertension? hypertension that's caused by a, a medical condition, uh, an underlying medical condition. So there, there, there should be some underlying medical condition such as diabetes or kidney disease or some hormonal disorder or something. That's related to secondary hypertension. Okay, what are the complications, Arti Mem? Arti Mem? Yes, ma'am. Complications, few complications you can tell. Uh, coronary artery and uh, uh, left and failure in left ventricle. Uh, coronary artery mm -hmm. disease. Okay. Yes, we'll yes. study this is in our syllabus. Investigation, uh, no, leave. Investigation not required. Diet also, only remember diet, dash diet. That is different in this, otherwise, nothing. And not required. Not required. Okay, then this is good. So, uh, I hope it is done. You all remember very nicely. Shall we leave? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank you so much to everyone. Thank you, ma'am.